Hi, and welcome to Thai Native Gyms. Today, I want to discuss a very important topic which um, affects our industry. Um, the difference between a glass-filled ruby and an unheated natural ruby. I mean, rubies could be also heated and natural, but in today's case, I have two stones of different extremes. One which is extremely cheap and one which is extremely expensive. So on the left, you see here, is a glass-filled ruby. Now, these rubies have been subject to um, what you call um, lead glass composite treatment. And these rubies will cost you around 10 to $15 a carry. So this whole, piece, this whole stone will cost you maybe $50. While on the right, you see, is an unheat, 100% natural ruby. Now, only 1% of stones in the market are 100% unheated rubies. These are extremely rare. As you can see, this one looks bigger than this. But because of this rarity, this stone actually cost, will cost you around $26,000 for the piece. So in today's video, I wanted to actually hopefully show you um, some videos in the microscope and to tell you the difference between this stone and this stone so that when you go purchase your important uh, stone for the rubies, you could distinguish between this and this. So I hope it will accomplish this task. And if you have any comments or anything, please feel free to write below. And the first video I'm showing you right here is a glass veil ruby. Apologies regarding the quality of the video, but this is the best we can take in this microscope. So the first thing you'll notice is all these white, white spots, especially on the left corner. These spots are actually gas bubbles. And gas bubbles is one of the easiest things you could see in glass filled rubies. You can also see gas bubbles in synthetics. So if you see these these spots around the stone and you're confident they're gas bubbles, then you know you're getting either a composite ruby or a synthetic. Another indicator is surface reaching fractures, which you can see in this video. On the right side, you will see all these white fine lines re reflecting of the stone. These white fine lines are actually surface reaching fractures. Now, this video is actually the unheated 3 carat ruby. The first impression you, you'll notice is that it looks a lot cleaner, and you actually can see th right through the stone. Um, like the uh, the the prongs which are holding it. Another thing you'll notice is in the middle bottom portion there's a some line inclusion like a like an upside down T. The top portion of that is actually the fracture and then the bottom is an intact needle. That intact needle is in a clear indicator that the ruby you have on, on hand right here is an unneeded ruby. Apologies regarding the clarity of the video, but this, again, this is the best we can do. Also, when we reflect the surface of the of this unheated ruby, you will notice that there is no surface reaching fractures coming on the stone. It just feels like a mirror being reflected back to you. So, I mean, when you compare it with the composite ruby, it just looks a lot cleaner. And you could just tell immediately that the stone looks stronger and harder.